Up on the surface, the families are getting worried. More than 600 miners suffer physical and psychological trauma and have to be given treatment in makeshift dispensaries set up in the mine. 30 of them are in serious condition and have to be taken to hospital. The sit-in is proving very hard on them. Finally, after eight days, they emerge blinking to the surface, ill and deceived. Promises were made and will be broken. Meanwhile in Slovenia, public opinion is hardening around the case of the Mladina journalists facing trial for publishing military secrets. Demonstrations are organized, each serving to spread democratic, pro-independent, dissenting views. Support is expressed for the cause of the Albanians in Kosovo. Milan Kuchan has become president of the Slovenian Communist Party. Konec konca se mi v Jugoslaviji nismo združili zaradi skupne zgodovine in zaradi etične sorodnosti, kar seveda so vse elementi tudi integracijski danes, ampak zaradi uspešnega projekta boljšega skupnega življenja. Če tega projekta ne bo, potem nobena sila Jugoslavije integrirati ne more. Ne partija Ne revolucija, ne skupna zgodovina, ne del skupne kulture, ne etnična sorodnost, ne vojska in ne policija. The Serbs see Slovenia's support for the Albanians of Kosovo as a betrayal. Milosevic that same evening at Belgrade. Fraternity and unity go out the window. It's always the others who are nationalist. In Kosovo, a state of emergency is declared.
Occupying forces carry out arrests, repression, and manipulation. Observe this scene closely in the Kosovo parliament on March 23, 1989. Parliament is to vote on the Milosevic proposals, the revision of the constitution, and a strengthening of Serbian control. 167 votes for. Who is против? and 10 against. Only 10 who look as if they don't know what's happening. And with good reason. Numerous deputies have been threatened and are not present. Others who are not deputies, like this man, have taken their place. His name is Ajeti. He's the brother of a leader who supports the authorities. This parliamentary sleight of hand causes a public outcry. Special troops and federal army forces are called in. This man, a soldier, refuses to obey. Slovenian television broadcasts sequences against the repression in Kosovo. Months later, Milosevic is elected president of the Republic of Serbia, despite the opposition of Serbia's new democratic parties. Serbia then sets up an economic embargo against Slovenia. In protest on January 20th, 1990, at the 14th Congress of the Federal Communist Party, the Slovenian delegation walks out of the hall. This act, though it achieves its effect differently from the other countries of Eastern Europe, marks the end of Communist Party unity. This is the way, here, as you see it, that the Yugoslav Communist Party dies. A few days later, the Slovenian government withdraws its police units from Kosovo. In Belgrade, during the night of January 31st, the federal presidency holds an emergency meeting. Four of the six republics vote against a military intervention in Kosovo. Serbia is supported only by Montenegro. In Kosovo, on March 22nd, there is a strange case of poisoning. More than 400 Albanian schoolchildren complain of nausea and breathing problems. They are rushed to hospital. Panic spreads as rumors abound and spreads across the province. But the Serbian doctors find nothing amiss and declare most strange this collective poisoning that just happens to break out in those towns where Albanian nationalism is strongest. April 1990, Slovenia, rising from a deep sleep, awakes to democracy.
Slovenians set out to vote freely for the first time and find they have a choice of parties. Franz Buchar, candidate of the center-right opposition party, he becomes a parliamentary speaker, a man of the right. And a communist, Milan Kuchan, becomes president of the Republic of Slovenia. National reconciliation is the order of the day. The Milosevic plan for a more centralized Yugoslav state is rejected. Kuchan's winning design for Slovenia is for a confederal system opening on to Europe. In Croatia, meanwhile, the key words of sovereignty, independence, and confederation have also come into their own in that republic's first free elections. Franjo Tuchman, Tito's former general, twice sentenced for nationalism, revives the old dream of a Croatian state. April 22nd, election night. Fifty years of communist rule are brought to an end by Croat nationalism. Franjo Tuchman is elected president of the republic. And Stipe Mesic, jurist and deputy, like Tuchman imprisoned for nationalism, becomes prime minister with the task of drawing up the constitution of a sovereign Croat state. Serbia is from her 8th meeting of Serbia after Milošević's conversation on Kosovo, and inaugurated a political policy that went to the destruction of the Yugoslav Federation and to the dominance of Serbia. But all the others were accused to destroy the Yugoslav. In other words, we had a model of the Federation with which no one was satisfied. And now we have a confederative model koji je sličan modelu evropske zajednice. I ako su evropske nacije, evropske države s tim modelom zadovoljne i vide mogućnost progresa svojih društava i svojih država, nema nikakvog razloga da mi ne prihvatimo taj model i s tim modelom uđemo u evropsku zajednicu. May 13th, 1990. The Zagreb-Belgrade football match is interrupted by violent fighting. Events have been speeding up. Slovenia is preparing for independence. In Serbia, the democratic opposition is fighting for free elections. Milosevic is now talking about changing the frontiers. The Serbian parliament dissolves the parliament of Kosovo. The federal presidency is powerless. In Croatia, in the region of Kanin, tension is mounting among the mainly Serb population. Roads and access routes are cut off. The Serbs of Croatia dread a return of the Ustashi horrors. But election fever spreads, and here too the vote is for autonomy. 
for an independent Serb enclave within Croatia. Potrebna nam je zato, jer Tuđman, gospodin Tuđman je osnova ustaškog vladu. Oko njega su u saboru sve ustaše. I mi to ne možemo podnositi. Ovdje kad pogledamo, da ćemo još jedan put ponovo imati to. Tu leži moj otac na toj ploči. Zapravo leži u zemlji. Da li ću morati ja i moji unuci, moji svi prijatelji konačije? Mi to ne možemo dozvoliti po cijenu života. Oni nam kažu, kažu nam da smo mi sa Kosovo. I spominje Kosovo. A šta Srbija daje Kosovo? Daje sva prava. A on nam ne daje ništa. I sad kad se kritikuje Slobodana Miloševića i okolo ljude, pametni ljude koji vode u zrelu i pametnu politiku. Tako je. Jedno, a drugo, napadaju Jugoslavijsku narodnu armiju za koju smo mi svi spremni, sutra ćemo se obući večeras, ako treba i sad ovog časa. Obućemo se, mećemo to okrako i tijeto na glavu. I borit ćemo se svoje prava. The mood of paranoia spreads to the parliament at Zagreb. A representative of the Serb minority is speaking. Srpski narod u Hrvatskoj je čestit, pošten, radan, štedljiv narod Narod koji nikad nije dozvolio da ga ugnjetava. Hvala. To je pametan narod koji je ustao da zaštiti svoje ljudsko dostojanstvo, svoju djecu, svoj integritet građanina. To su ljudi koji se nikad neće složiti sa ustašoidnim režimom u kojem trenutno žive. Oni će se... Ja moram upozoriti, Banjiku, moj vas lijepo, ja vas upozoravam da nemate pravo uvrijeđati hrvatsku vladu. Imate pravo govoriti, nemate pravo vrijeđati. Nazivati hrvatsku vlast usta što idnom je uvreda. The parliamentary speaker intervenes and tries to calm down the Croat deputies. Gospodine predsjedniče, moj vas lijepo, gospodo, dozvolite Tanjgi da govori a ukoliko bude vrijeđao hrvatsku vlast i hrvatski sabor, ja ću mu oduzeti riječ. Hvala. Izvolite nastaviti. Pošto su prethodnici, pošto... Ispričaj se. The ghosts of the past are looming dangerously. Out of the public eye, arms are being supplied from official storehouses to Serb civilians, with the tacit approval of the Federal Army. Militias are being formed, Serb and Croat. The Croatian and Slovenian governments reject the legitimacy of the Federal Army and strengthen their police and civil defense forces while preparing to establish their own armed forces. In January 1991, Belgrade Television broadcasts this film prepared by military intelligence services which accuses the Croatians of illegally importing arms. We see the Croatian defense minister and hear what is allegedly a conversation in which he was involved three months earlier. Yeah. 
A concealed camera showed the general talking to two men said to be arms traffickers. General Spagel was called before a military tribunal in Belgrade. But the Croatian government dismissed all accusations and called it a provocation. The United States and Hungary, accused of providing arms, issued denials. Yugoslavenska narodna armija je jedina kohezijona snaga koja je u ovom trenutku sposobna i pozvana da izvrši svoje ustavne obaveze. The Federal Army sends in tanks to Kanin to restore law and order. At the same time, the Federal Presidency calls on the militias to disarm. In Zagreb, Tuchman speaks of a plot aimed at causing chaos and overthrowing democracy. Događaj koji su se zbili danas u tri općine u Benkovcu, Kninu i Gračacu nisu nas iznadili. Mi smo znali za scenarij koji je pripremao Meteš u Hrvatskoj. Meteš koji ide za tim da se obori demokratska vlast u Hrvatskoj, a potom i u Sloveniji. In Belgrade, on Republic Square, Draskovic, the Serb opposition nationalist leader, demands access to television and the resignation of the current leaders. He accuses them of dragging Serbia into civil war. Young people are there in force to express their discontent and their anger at 10 years of economic crisis. The demonstration rapidly degenerates. Nightfall, the tanks have taken over Belgrade. Draskovic is arrested. He is released five days later. Under pressure from demonstrators, the television management resigns. Slav Jovic, the Serb federal president, fails to impose a state of emergency. Obaveštavam javnost da nisam u stanju da budem saučesnik u takvim odlukama koje doprinose raspodu zemlje sa mogućim katastrofalnim posljedicama za naše građane i narode. Odlučio sam stoga da podnesem ostavku na dužnost verujući da je to najpoštenije i u skladu sa mojom savješću. It is the turn of Croatia's message to succeed Jovic. The Serbians, the representatives of Vojvodina and Kosovo, and the Montenegrins oppose his succession. At the end of March, the presidents of the six republics begin a series of meetings to try to resolve the crisis. The federal state is in deadlock. Meanwhile, in Croatia, one incident follows another at Plitbice, Vukovar, Split. In Slovenia, there are first clashes between Federal Army and Slovene units. At Maribor, the inhabitants encircle the barracks and prevent the Federal Army tanks from leaving. Thank you. 
Somewhere along a road near to the Slovenian border, a young couple has recognized federal troops hidden in an ambulance who are trying to break the blockade. This is Slovenia, and no one is getting through. Elsewhere in Slovenia, an unarmed crowd brings an armored vehicle to a halt. You see the man who is attempting to climb onto the armored vehicle. He will be the first victim of the coming war. June 25th, 1991, Zagreb, the Croatian parliament. All the deputies are ringed round Franjo Tuchman and Stipe Mesic. They are celebrating Croatian independence. The power of the past has overcome the threats of the Serbians and the appeals of the European community and the United States.